All right, welcome back to Mass Effect. Now, I lied in the last video. We're going to the Armstrong Nebula. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. Well, I will do that, but I need more information. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. Or worse. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Alright, that's excellent. So, where are they all? I want to have a look. Kinda need to see my journal. UNC Geth Incursions. Limited Geth Outposts. Limited all four Geth Outposts identified in the Armstrong Cluster. Oh, so they're all in the Armstrong Cluster. Okay, excellent. I might do this all in one video. Now this is a notoriously long series of side quests, I believe. But that's okay. Because I'm going to try to do it in one video. Because why not? Uh, where is it? Armstrong Nebula, there we go. Well, let's start up there, Vamshi. Now, this should be rather interesting. We need armor piercing stuff for this, obviously, because we're going to be up against a lot of Geth. Which we can handle. We can handle Geth perfectly fine. Magi, I think that was one of them. Yeah, looks like it. The surface temperature negative 121. It looks rather hot, but that's because it's red, and the sun's probably red, isn't it? No, the sun's white looking. <laughs> anyway, let's get in there. Now, for these missions, I'm going to take Tally. I need Tally with me. She's an essential. Essential. Um, and as for the other person, uh, Ashley could be handy here. Ashley could be useful, but I'm going to stick with Rex. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Rex. Because I've got him equipped nicely. And I want to give him some real action. Action worthy of a Krogan. Which I'm sure this will be. <laughs> this is a very red planet. Mars will be incredibly jealous of this one. Alright, so where are we? Got an anomaly there, some debris there, and a get outpost up there. I'll go there last, of course. To the anomaly! Because this is how we do things. We explore the inconsequential parts first. It just feels nice to get them all out of the way, you know? Whee! Oh, that actually sped me up a bit. That's good to note. I hadn't actually thought of that before. Using the boosters to speed you up when you're at an angle which going up would be forwards, like, kind of like that. <laughs> Although that did nearly end badly. Where is the thing? Where is the thing? It's gonna be your- Ooh, that's very pretty. That is very pretty. Um... Holy hell, bats! Broom! Broom, broom! Um, oh, there's another one there. Well, let's examine this thing. Ah, there's no kind of hazard on this planet. That's good. Let's recover it. Oh, holy crap. Ah, Turian Insignia. I do want more of those. And I'm getting money for doing them, so that's all good. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's probably the debris, actually. Or is it? I don't think that is the debris. There's something else here. Oh, interesting. So there are things not marked on the map. 
See, I, was, I wasn't actually sure if there were, was anything like that. Old skull? Or odd skull? Whoa! Is that a thresher moss skull or something? This massive skull is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. The xenobiology files in your hard suit computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. What the sods? Wow. Okay. Well, that's unusual. Let's get to... Oh, no, the thing's over there. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's get to the debris. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wee. Wee. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, don't. No, 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 no. I think that would have been game over if I if the lamp stayed on its top there. I do not like this planet. It smells of poo. Where's this debris? Ah, there it is. And this is a crashed probe. Let's get it. Manual bypass. Of course. Oh, there we go. Uh, medical interface and kinetic stabilizers. Not brilliant, but not horrible. Now let's get to that Geth outpost. See, I could be spending so much more time looking around these planets, but it would take ages and it would be so painful to do. So that's why you only rely on what the, what the map shows. Because it's mostly good enough. I don't think I've missed anything hugely important. Oh, bombs. This get output is quite a way away. And I'm suspecting there's going to be some outside fighting, so maybe I want to get out of the Mako and kill them manually with my actual guns, because I think you get more experience when you do that. See, I wasn't sure if you did or not, but it makes sense, because kills in the Mako are far easier. And that is an ore cluster thing. It is, I want it. Oh, there it is, a mineral deposit or something. Come on, get out of the Mako. Beryllium. And I'm going to decrypt the mineral, <laughs> because that's what you do with minerals. That's what geologists do, you know? Light metal. And 5,000 credits, not bad. I will never complain about a good mineral deposit. Now, it looks like we might be able to get a high ground on this base, which means I could snipe them now. Hopefully, if they haven't got any rockets coming at me. They probably will, but I'm going to try. I'll try it. I'll try it and see if it's too much of a risk. Holy crap, this thing is miles away. In fact, you know what the planets in Mass Effect 1 remind me of? The flight simulator in XL97, I believe it was. It was either XL95 or 97. Had the flight simulator built into it. I, I loved that thing. Oh, buggers. I'm going to quick save here, just in case. Uh, yeah, because that's a lot of things. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I want to try to snipe these things down. Because if I can snipe them, that'll be amazing experience, I think. Now it gets fun. Crap. I don't think sniping is going to be all that good. Corb, bomb and hell. They don't seem to be able to get too many hits off. Hits off on us. That's oh my face! <laughs> my face! Um, Tally, you're going to die if you keep standing there like that. Evade, girl. Evade. Evade, please. That's the last of them. Are we even hitting this thing from here? I don't even know if those things can be taken down by weapons fire. And Tally's dead. Lovely. 
I don't think those things can be taken down by weapons fire. I'm ready. I'm just gonna take it down with a Mako. Although that was only one hit. That kind of implies it was um taking damage from my sniper rifle. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'll take down the heavy turrets, I think, with the Mako for shiz and giggles. Okay, these things are significantly closer, so I think I can take these down with my sniper rifle. As long as I'm careful. This will make it significantly harder. <laughs> This should be shouldn't be too hard. Get an assassination in. Whoa, that was close. Like I'm gonna heal up right now. I wonder how much more experience this is gonna be. Is it gonna be worth it? Whoa, like Neil, that was almost four times the experience. That. That was well worth it, man. Okay, so note to self, it's well worth not using the Mako to take those things down. It'll take longer in one second. Yeah. Just had to adjust my chair. It'll take longer. But it, it th that experience increase is actually very nice. I'm going to note that for the future. And take advantage of it. Oh, bums. Oh, dinguses. Dingus. Ding a ding a ding ding dong. Willy. Is that not level terrain, is it not? I'm on my way. This is level terrain. Save. <laughs> okay, come on. Boom. Oh, these things are going to be easy to take down at this distance. Although I shouldn't overheat like that. That's going to make it take so much longer to kill the things to death. Alright, maybe one more shot? Okay, maybe two more shots? Yes! Oh, that 420 XP is so worth it. That is seriously worth it. I'm going to switch my pistol and see what Marksman does to this thing. Ooh! So Marksman is quite good against them as well. I like that. Me likey a lotty. Alright, I think we're very close now. Have we not leveled up from that? Bums. What the... Crap. Music went funny there. I'm going to save just in case that's a crash coming on. Because when things act strangely in a game or program, you, just, you can expect a crash. That's generally how things start. Oh, bums. Yeah, I think I can go up this way. I don't see any more. Oh, no, there they are. All right, we've got an excellent vantage point here. Think we're good, Commander. Oh, the Geth are very good shots, though. Right, there's one down. They've got rockets as well. I think we can manage. Oh, there's another one down. Nice, I'm taking them down in one shot as well. Fuck, did I equip that thing on my sniper rifle? I did equip the real extension. Nice. Have I got a better one? No, I don't think I've got a better one. That's fine. Now, what am I using? I'm using any person hell. Uh, what? I should be using. Well, the very best I've got against these things is incendiary rounds. Are you secured? I'll use them for sure. 
contact. Yes. Now let's get the Mako in there, guys. Perimeter clear. Nope, let's not get the Mako in there. Ah! That's the last of them. That's not the last of them, I just saw one there. All clear. Alright, I think we're good now, we can get in there. Quick save. I think we did rather well here. I think we can afford to get out the Mako here as well. Shouldn't be too hard to take one down at least. Boom! Goodbye, Geth. I think that's all of them. Now let's get in there. And we've got a lot of these things to take down. I mean, a lot of them. Is that that? Oh my hells! Hell's bells and the flakes. Still getting out of the Mako. I want to take this thing down man style. All right, assassination and assassinate that thing. Is that thing taking damage? I mean, I'm not going to complain if it's taking damage here. I think it is as well, you know. Um, can I incinerate it? Clear. Can I overload it? I think I can. I think that thing is actually taking damage. Oh dear. Um. All targets down. Is it taking damage or not? It's moving. And if I can, I sure as hell want to take this thing down. Outside of the Mako. It's definitely alive now. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not good. I did not calculate this. What's happening to it? Uh, Tally, I don't think your shotgun's going to be doing much good from here. Overload it. Oh, vroom, 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 vroom. Yes! Beautiful! Ah, that counted as shutting the outpost down. Ah, very nice. Now let's level up here. <laughs> Now, I can't get Overload Specialization yet, which is a shame. Now, what can I get to? I don't think I'll go much further into armor, because I've got what I want out of that, which is medium armor. So... Wow, what I, In fact, I might go into Spectre Training for that regenerate, and regenerate extra accuracy per second. I think that reduces the wobble after you fire with things. I think that's what that is. So that could be the next best thing for me. I'm going to go into Spectre Training. The yeah, operative would be good. Oh, that's very significant. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get Spectre Training maxed out before I go for operative, I think. Now, Rex, I will give you more warp. I want to get warp high for him first, I think. Oh, Tally, you're a beast, aren't you? Now, decryption... It wouldn't hurt to give her advanced sabotage, but, as I said, she needs weapons training. So, weapons for her. Um... Ooh, pistols or shotguns? She's doing well with shotguns, so shotguns. And I will save. And the game saved. So, let's get the Mako in there very quickly and check for loot. And then we'll head back to the Normandy and go down to take the other outposts. It's looking like I'll be doing one per video, which is fair enough, I think you'll agree. 
I'll just make sure there's nothing I can loot from these things. What the hell? Sounds like there's something alive over there. Alright, but anyway, I will leave the video here. And in the next one, we will take down some more outposts. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. I will s What's that noise? Anyway, I will see you in the next one.